Hi, welcome back. We're again in our Vietnam studio. I'm sporting my Victory Team shirt. <laughs> welcome back. Today's topic is an emotion that affects us all. Maybe I shouldn't even use the word emotion. I don't know if that's a biblical term, but it's a spirit that affects us all. And that's fear. When fear becomes a phobia, when we act irrational and change our lifestyle because of some fear we have, uh, that spirit is controlling us. And we don't want you in that position. Having an emotion like fear is normal. It's good. If you're in a dark alley and there's a, some not looking, good looking characters around you, you have fear. And that's a good thing. That's natural. But to have a phobia of people or alleys or something, that's not good. People have a lot of fears or phobias. Some people have a fear of the dark. They can't sleep in the dark. They got to have a light on all the time. Some people are afraid of public speaking. And maybe you're one of them. I would rather die than speak in public. Uh, I used to be like that. Now I still have fear, but it's not so bad. A lot of people are afraid of the unknown, death, and what happens afterwards. Some people are afraid of rulers and judgment. They're afraid of people that wear uniforms and look official. Some people are afraid of bullies. Maybe they were a victim of bullies. Some people, like myself, have a fear of the winter cold. If you've ever been homeless in the northern states, uh, it's, a, it's a just fear. <laughs> Some people have fear of poverty. When they get out of poverty, they're never going to be poor again. They're, they have that fear. It drives them. Some people are afraid of cats, dogs. Some people are afraid of losing control not being able to control their uh, life. Someone else has to dictate what they do. Some people are afraid of physical abuse. Some people are afraid of mental abuse. And there's, there's, a, there's many, many more we could go on. But uh, it becomes, again, the fear becomes a phobia when it becomes unnatural, it's not reasonable. We don't want that. In the book of Acts, there's many cases of people that have fear in the Bible, but we're going to choose one anyway. We have time for one. The book of Acts, in Acts chapter 27, I enjoy this particular passage. Paul is a prisoner, and he's they're taking him with other prisoners by boat to Rome where he will be judged at Caesar's seat, apparently. And uh, Paul, we'll pick it up in Acts 27, verse 9. Now, when much time was spent, they haven't departed yet, when much time was spent, and when sailing was now dangerous, why was it dangerous? Because the fast was now already past. The fast would be late September. So it's about October. And the seasons are changing, and you can get these November storms and even October storms. But uh, so it goes. But they, were, they wanted to sail, and Paul was part of a cargo ship. They had him in with other things to sell. And, of course, the captain of the ship wants to make money. He wants to, to sail. He wants to get it to his destination. And Paul uh, admonished them. In verse 10, he said unto them, Sirs, I perceive that this voyage will be with much hurt and much damage, not only of the lading and ship, but also of our own selves. Wow. It's, uh, he gives them a warning, the, the man of God. Nevertheless, the centurion, the man over the prisoners and over the command of the boat. Not, he's not the captain, the sailing, but he's the director. He ignored Paul. And uh, he goes on. 
Nevertheless, the centurion believed the master and the owner of the ship more than those things which were spoken by Paul. Here's a mistake. When we choose the word of someone whose motives are profit, not our own profit, when we ignore the man of God and the word of God, we're heading down a bad way. But they didn't think so. We pick it up in verse 14 uh, or through there. It's smooth sailing. It's like this is easy. But then suddenly this storm comes up. It was called, uh, what was it called? Eurachlodon or something? Yeah, verse 14. It, a storm called Eurachlodon. Suddenly, oh, it's like a hurricane type of terrible thing. It comes up on them suddenly. And that's the way it is in our life. We get, we're a sudden fear. We can't prepare for it. The sailors did all they could do to keep the ship afloat. I mean, it was leaking and they were tacking up and they were stuffing holes and they were throwing water, they were bailing out and so on. You read that in verse 15. When the ship was caught, we could not bear up into the wind. We let her drive. <laughs> Boy, they, when they let her drive, <laughs> that's sorry, that's a, that's a male joke. <laughs> we're not going to let her drive. So verse 16, and running under a certain island, unto the south, which is called Clauda. We had much work to come by the boat. I mean, that old crate is just hanging in there. Which, when they had taken up, they used helps. I mean, they got braces and all kinds of stuff, or undergirding the ship, and fearing lest they should fall into the quicksands, they strake sail, and so it was driven. Lower the sail. Let's see where God, let's see where the waters go. We, we can't control it any longer. And you know, verse 18, we being exceedingly tossed with a tempest, the next day we lightened the ship. You know what fear will do to you? It will help you adjust your priorities. They, they lightened the ship. What do you think they, how did they lighten the ship? Remember the cargo that was so precious they had to take the risk? They throw it overboard. They don't want that waiting and sinking the ship. Get that cargo out of here. When we are in a storm, when fear grips us, it causes us to adjust our priorities. So fear is good and natural. A phobia is not. <laughs> And then verse 19, And the third day we cast out with our own hands the tackling of the ship. The tackling, they threw out the tackling of the ship. What is the tackling of the ship? The tackling are the control mechanisms, the ropes, the pulleys, all the things that makes the booms move and the sails rise and fall. That's the tackling. We threw out the control. This is something else the storm does in fear. It helps us adjust our perspective. I'm really not in control. God really is sovereign in everything I do. It's just, thank the Lord. He sends us storms. He teaches us lessons even in the storms. But now for these people, all hope was gone. Verse 20, And when neither sun nor stars in many days appeared, and no small tempest lay on us, all hope that we should be saved was taken away. We've lost all hope. We have nothing to do but float in this thing, try to keep it afloat, and we're going to die. We, we've, 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 we're controlled, we're consumed by this fear. And then Paul shows up. <laughs> Paul shows up. And he says, hey, you should have listened to me. You should have hearkened unto me. After a long absence, Paul stood forth in the midst of them and said, sirs, you should have hearkened to me. And it should not have done this. You know, should not have left Crete. <laughs> he should have listened to God's man. He's in, he didn't say, nah, 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 nah. He's saying, hey, I'm credible. You should listen to the credible source in all that you do. And he exhorts them. He exhorts them to be courageous and not be fearful. 
but he exhorts them according to God's word. And that's the key. Fear not. I love these verses. And now verse 22, I exhort you to be of good cheer, for there shall be no loss of any man's life among you, but of the ship. And there stood by me this night the angel of God, whose I am and whom I serve, saying, Fear not, Paul. I, I particularly like that verse. <laughs> Fear not, Paul. Thou must be brought before Caesar. And, lo, God hath given thee all them that sail with thee. Verse 25. This is, this is the key verse of this lesson. Wherefore, sirs, be of good cheer. Don't be of fear. Be of good cheer. For I believe God. This is what I believe about God. That it shall be even as it was told me. I believe what God said. I, I can be cheerful in that. God will do what he said. He, and God said he would bring us through safely. I believe what God said. I don't have fear. I have cheer. God hath not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and love and of a sound mind. This is the solution when you have a phobia. Be of good cheer. I believe God. Believe what God has said. Fear will change to cheer. <laughs> You'll say, like, well, this is a nice day for a cruise. <laughs> it's so good. This is like a great theme verse for our whole life. Isaiah chapter 41 says this in verse 10. Fear thou not. You know, by the way, uh, there are many, many verses in the Bible about fear and having courage. Fear thou not, for I am with thee. Be not dismayed, for I am thy God. <laughs> There's a good thing. Fear causes us to adjust our priorities. Fear causes us to adjust our perspective. And, you know, if you're in a dangerous place, a place that causes natural fear, it, it allows you an opportunity to, you know, seek safety however that situation looks like. But we don't want to go into phobias. Their greatest fears were not realized. Instead, the Word of God prevailed. It says in the end verse there, And so it came to pass that they all escaped safe to land. It all worked out really good. Praise God. Uh, it's a good lesson. Hey, you know, uh, don't be afraid. Trust God. Trust God's word. Believe what he said. You can rest and find comfort in there. And I don't know about you, but I find rest and comfort. And we have such good sponsors. Please don't go away. Here's our sponsor spot. Looking for that perfect greeting card? We've got you covered. Introducing UVitStore.com. UVit Store was created by a team of American and Vietnamese Christians to help at-risk youth learn a skill set and live in a safe environment. Now, nine years and thousands of cards later, we continue to supply high-quality cards and provide a safe vocation for young ladies. So if you're looking for the card that gives back twice, don't look any further than UVitStore.com. All right. Wasn't that good? God bless you. Oh, if this is a blessing to you, would you subscribe and like? That'd be nice. We keep in touch with you. If you want to comment, if you want to share, that's okay too. All right. God bless you. Have a good day. Don't be afraid.